Did y'all ever hear about Hastings, Rider of the Rolling Stones? Now, this is the story that went down. This is about three, four years ago. This is actually when I first started watching Alex Jones around that time, probably about a year afterwards. Hastings was the writer of the Rolling Stones. He was known to be fearless. He actually went into the Middle East and was in um, the middle of combat while he was reporting the news. And other reporters said he was amazing because other reporters, why these, you're in this helicopter, right, and you're shooting, and you're being shot at, helicopters, you know, going around in circles, it's vibrating, it's bouncing everywhere, explosions. And this guy, he, he just thought it was cool. He wasn't the least bit afraid. Then he finds out something when he returns home that suddenly was able to frighten him, terrify him. It was so horrible, this man that could sit in a helicopter while being shot at and laugh was on the run for his life. He was terrified. So he discovered something about the government, a secret, that terrified him, made him go on the run. And he, he wrote to, I think, 20 friends. Um, he sent them emails saying... Um, I'm going to release some information I found out, and it's so horrible, and they're, they're, going to, they're going to probably kill me, and I'm afraid for my life, they're trying to kill me, something along those lines. And then within like six hours, was it, 12 hours, his car mysteriously blew up, and then when the, um, the fire man came in to investigate it or whatever, you know, they investigate accidents. Well, his car was speeding, blew up, and then it rolled in, into a tree. And they covered his car with a tart, which was unusual for an investigation, so no one could take pictures of the inside of the car. And witnesses said that his car had blown up before he hit the tree. His car blew up. What did he find out, do you think, that was so horrible and made this... Fearless reporter shaking his boots. Also, by the way, he was dating, or he was, sorry, he was married to a woman that was at the top level of Homeland Security. And she said, oh, they killed him. I'm going to expose him. She was weeping to Alex Jones. And then a week later, and to Joe Biggs, one of Alex Jones' reporters, Joe Biggs was good friends with Hastings. A week later, she shows up on the news, the mainstream news, and says, no one killed Hastings, it was an accident. I wish people would just drop this and leave this alone. I don't think she was threatened or even afraid. I think she's a reptilian hybrid, and that's what they are. They can marry you, they can't love, they can imitate love, Probably better than we can. From my own experience, I say better than we can. Amazing, strong love. But when it comes down to it, they will kick you off a cliff if there's no one watching and they won't feel a thing. It'll be like walking to the drugstore. 